Hey, I'm Colin from uh, AdSign, and I'm going to show you some uh, things with SSH no pause and it's uh, lack of need for knowing any IP addresses. So um, if we uh, try and SSH NP to a machine, this is the machine here. Uh, this is my AdSign. This is the AdSign of the uh, machine that I want. The AdSign of the machine that I'm trying to connect to. And this is a rendezvous point. Um, and if I just hit return, and there's, there's no IP addresses here. I don't need to specify what the IP addresses are of the machine. I need to, to specify what the ad signs of the machine and the name of the machine I want to log into. And uh, boom, I'm logged into that machine. Uh, so if I look at the IP address of this machine with the IPA, we can see that the IP address is 192.168.1.64. Uh, um, and we don't really care about IP addresses because we've got a add sign to address. But what happens if the IP address changes? Well, um, let's do that right now. Uh, this is the console of the IoT devices uh, uh, machine. That, um, you know, it's just uh, the console of that machine. And we can look at the IP address again. You can see it's 64. Um, and what we're going to do is uh, there, there is 64 slash 124. What we're going to do is change that IP address and um, see see whether anything breaks, I guess. So the um, way to change the IP address is with um, an ifconfig command. And uh, you can see it's 64 at the moment. Let's change it to oh no, 18. So change it to 18, 18. And if we look at IPA now, we will see that uh, definitely 18. And we just look at and see what route we got to the IPR. And uh, we have no default root, so let's add a root. And uh, that'll be just fine. Let's make sure we can ping things. Uh, I'm a Brit, so we're going to ping bbc.com. And yeah, we've got access. All right, so we've definitely changed IP address. Um, that's fine. Uh, we obviously disconnected here because we changed IP address. But if I drop back and run exactly the same command again, um, exactly the same command, IP address has changed, we should be able to log in. Let's see whether that works. Yep, we're back in there. Let's see with the IPA. And yeah, there we are. We're on uh, 18. Now, that may seem uh, pretty academic because we, we changed the IP address on the console. Um, but where this comes into play a lot is with um, things that are connected over networks you don't control. So say if you've got a device that's plugged into uh, an Ethernet cable, maybe somewhere, and you've got maybe uh, you've got uh, backup with a 5G card or a 4G card. If the uh, connectivity changes, maybe the IP address changes, you can still log in. If the connectivity breaks, maybe somebody plug, unplugs the Ethernet cable, the cable goes bad or it you know, drops connectivity for whatever reason, the 5G connection will step in and you'll have connectivity to the internet, but you won't know the IP address. And this is where SSH node ports uh, plays really well. You don't need to know the IP address as long as that machine can reach the internet outbound, don't need any inbound ports open, this is no ports, uh, then you'll be able to log into the device. So we get to uh, see customers use this all the time where devices are out in the field. Uh, with multiple ways of connecting to them, uh, but you don't need to have fixed IP addresses. So uh, hopefully that demonstration is useful. You can use it in your own place. Uh, we uh, would love you to try it. Uh, go to nopulse.com and uh, find out how you can try it.